new art. Hey friends, this week we're going to take a look at how I did the Champions Collection portrait of Rick Martel and uh, why it was a little bit of a departure for me. Starting off with a different color palette than I normally use, it's more pastels, um, uh, brings a different kind of energy to it than what I normally have. Uh, mostly pastels, a little bit darker at the bottom to create weight for the piece. Now getting into the figure, you can see some of the uh, paint that I use for the background is coming into the figure. That'll factor in as I go. Uh, so first with uh, the blacks on the figure, now with a uh, darker brown, and uh, about to come in with some burnt umber to uh, uh, you know, continue the, the tonal balance. Uh, not painting into the areas where uh, I put in the background, uh, except for like a slight outline that you can see. As I was going, I felt that the piece was feeling a little too cookie cutter, uh, so I put reapplied paint to the piece all at once and then smudge it all together to, to make it feel a little more painterly. It's painting, I guess I should be doing that. Uh, so now coming in with uh, details on the hands. Hands can be as complicated as just about anything else on the piece, including the face. There's so many little details that you have to get exactly right. Uh, speaking of little details, now working on the belt, uh, as I've confessed before in the past, I really don't enjoy doing belts, although I find it's not as difficult as it was after I did that uh, giant painting of the big gold belt. Uh, after overcoming that, something like the AWA belt from that time period it isn't as tough. There's not as many little intricate details. Although I did have to do some hand lettering, which I still don't feel like I'm incredibly great at, but coming along with it. Uh, now coming into the face, uh, working you know darts to lights front to back. So there's a little bit of his hair that overlaps on the, the forehead. So I'm getting all the face done before I bring that in because I don't want to have to paint around the hairs. It looks wrong when you did that. Finish off with a little paint marker. There's the final piece. Not bad. Cool stuff. I've added a bunch of new paintings to the store. There's uh, about 25 or so new ones on there, including this big guy. I know you're saying, Rob, you've got prints of those available. That's true. There's going to be about 50 people that are going to have prints of this, but only one of you is going to have the original. And I want it to be you.